Hey everyone, my name is Anel and welcome to vlog number one on my channel. So, in today's vlog, we're gonna be trying out this Garnier Light Complete Vitamin C Sunscreen. So, it's SPF 50, it's non sticky. And yeah, let's see if this can replace my all time favorite Biore and Lana sunscreens. Or, I'll also give you my first impression thoughts as we go along the way with this. So, this vitamin C is spot proof sunscreen it has SPF 50 vitamin C it has a matte finish so it also claims to be non sticky non greasy and non oily so it sounds like the perfect sunscreen so ayun anyway today we're gonna go along my day um sama ho lang kayo as we go out so let's see also if this one will last me along the day hindi siya magiging sticky hindi siya nakakainis with my makeup and all that but anyway okay let's try this out Yes. Wait lang ata nagsho-shoot ako eh. Thank you. So it's actually super small lang. It how many ml is this? Ah, 30 ml lang siya. And it's expiring on 2023. So we're starting with a freshly cleansed face. I already did my skincare routine prior to this and I drew on my brows kasi yeah, I don't want to go browless today. Not that confident today and though <laughs> anyway okay so let's try this out sunscreen is actually the last part of my skincare routine so yeah <laughs> it smells like all the other light complete products from Gordier, which is like a scent that i really like because it's refreshing but if you're someone again who's um like sensitive to smell or fragrance Yon, you might not like this scent, but I personally really like it. It's so refreshing. Pero hindi naman kasi yung scent na to stay on the skin. So parang initial application, oh oh, mabango siya, like all other Garnier products. Pero hindi naman siya nagla last the entire day. So anyway, ayun. Hmm. Let's put on my forehead. Oops. Whenever my so breath the forehead, I just put it on my neck. Okay, so this is what it looks like on my face. So, um, it's not sticky or tacky, so good. Pero you can feel talaga na meron kang sunscreen. So, it's not super lightweight like the Biore or Lana one. But yeah, I don't have any complaints about it yet. Um, it does have this white or parang glowy finish on the face. I'm not sure if you're seeing it. Pero parang medyo may tint siya, ba? Parang medyo naga layer of color yung skin ko. Pero hindi siya yung white like other sunscreens na parang flashback Mary ganun na look but it's just like another matte or primer layer on the skin yun lang yun na feel ko about it but yeah let me know ayan oh, see nice yung finish niya on the face I like it so there okay so let me just do my makeup and I'll be back in a bit okay so I'm done with my makeup so this is what it looks like Sobrang ganda ng pag-blend nung sunscreen with my face. Hindi siya yung parang when I was putting on the powder, yung nagka-clump or kumakapit yung powder doon. Overall, I really like it so far on my face. Yeah, it's like a good... It's like a good makeup base. Ayun. So, there. Pakita ko lang din yung other side ng face. And ba, hindi naman siya super white on the face. Hindi siya yung parang... Whoa, sunblock. <laughs> Kinda really reminds me of the Lana formula. It's like a makeup base. Super nice. I'm liking it so far. But let's see as we go through the day how it holds up on my face. So anyway, I'll take you guys along my day. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Nigo and I are gonna meet up today, so wala lang. I haven't seen him in more than a month, so I'm kinda, kinda excited. So, yun okay, this is some sort of guy with me. I am kinda parked now, so
So just a quick update. It's been six hours already and sorry, my skin is dry because of isotret. So yeah, and it's peeling. But so far, nice naman on the skin yung Garnier. I'm not sure if you can hear me, medyo noisy dito. But yeah, hindi, well actually, hindi ako nag oil nga because I'm on isotret. But generally, I feel like it's okay on my skin. Wala namang allergic reactions of that sort. Yeah, those are normal things on my face talaga. So, yeah. Careful. Okay, okay. Are you Donuts. You know why? Why? Dunkin' eh, Dunkin' daw eh. Dunkin' daw. Wait, so pag nakakabit yung mic, yung video mo sa... Sana pala eh. Ay, what? Yung video mo sa phone, walang audio? Wala. Ano naman? Nasa... Naka-incorporate na sa pag record Ah, so yung audio ng video mo sa phone... <laughs> Just a quick update after two weeks of using this Garnier Super UV Matte Sunscreen. So, so far in the two weeks that I've been using it every day, I've been really like it. So the top three things that I really like about this is that number one, it leaves a matte finish on the face. So parang if you're looking for a makeup base, like I said in the few weeks, in my first impressions or the first time I tried it out. So if you're looking for a makeup base, yung or if tamad ka na din mag makeup. Okay na din to as the only thing that you put on the face because it gives you a glow finish and also hindi siya oily on the face. And so far on the mattifying effect naman, it really depends on your skin type because in my case, I was matte for let's say around 4 to 5 hours. Pero with the mask on, shrimper, that's a different story because the face becomes much more moist, di ba? Pag nakasuot tayo ng mask. So when I was wearing a mask, shrimpre, yung time na hindi nag oily yung skin ko is a lot less. So, if nasa bahay ka lang naman and no mask, then you, I highly recommend that you guys wear this at home also. Or what you can also do is, after using this, if you want to stay matte for a longer period of time, go set it with your favorite powder or foundation, then you're good to go. Then the next thing that I like about this is that even if I decided to wear it under makeup, so if I would put on foundation for a shoot or something, it really blended easily with my skin and with my makeup. So hindi siya nagka-clump talaga even after two weeks of use. Meron kasi ibang sunscreens na ganoon na parang pag pinatungan mo ng makeup, nagiging patchy siya in some areas, especially here around the nose area. So yun, super okay siya. What I don't like about this sunscreen lang is that it just it's just so small. So I wish it came in a bigger case kasi 30 ml but it's nice that it's small enough to fit in your bag but parang for the price I feel like I wish it was at least 50 ml just like all the other Garnier vitamin C lines this one smells like you know it has that citrusy smell to it so kung ayaw mo nang mabango masyado then you can skip this one but yeah so overall i really like this sunscreen so it's a nice sunscreen to have i like switching it up then with my lana one and yeah those two are mattifying you know i think i'm gonna make a video with all my sunscreens parang interested ba kayo dun? like to know all the other types of sunscreens that i use but yeah, this is definitely staying in my collection and it is something that I would repurchase mainly because I like the finish on my skin. So there. 
If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give this video a like. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel down below. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys! Thank you.